All right, gang, I'm heading over to EALA to hook up with the Danger Close team, Greg Goodrich and his guys, to see how they're hooking up with premium firearms manufacturers to make the guns on the game as authentic as they can possibly be. In addition to simulating wear and tear and the camouflage put on individual weapons by the operators themselves. Okay, next up here with the Medal of Honor team is Chris Healy. He's the senior weapons artist. He's gonna take us from rendering a gun in real life to a gun on the game as accurately as possible. Chris, thanks for having us. Pleasure to have you. Pleasure I know to have you. Fans are gonna to wanna to see this, so talk us through this. Right, so um, a few of us have been making gun games quite a long time now, and you know, I've been specializing in the art side for the weapons for you know around about eight to 10 years now. So one thing I've learned over the years is that you know, you're, the weapon only comes out as good as the reference material that you've got. So we really, really try and just use every resource we can to get as much accurate reference as possible. So in this case, you know, we're looking at the, uh, the HK416 or the MR556 here. So that was all we could get hold of at the time. So what I would do then is I'd go and find out what the difference is between that and the, the military 416 is, and make sure that we are you know, adhering to those differences and we make sure that they are actual physically there in the game. Uh, on top of that, obviously, you know, we, we had a 416 there on Friday whilst we were you know, using all the guns. So I took a load of photographs of that as well. So that will be folded into this as well. So obviously, you know, thanks for that. So you know, what we'll do is we'll start gener uh, gathering a load of reference material to try and cover every angle, you know, even down into, you know, obscurities going on in mag wells, what's going on really close up in the sides, every little detail we try and get. And then we move into um, like the, the first kind of phase of the modeling stage where we build a low poly model. So obviously this is just the upper and lower receiver here in a kind of abstract form. Then we start building up the rest of the, the parts of the weapon. So we end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Again, if I select that, you can see the geometry. It's all very simple, things like that. We do something we call uh, a high-res sculpt where we generate a higher detailed version of this where we try and soften off all these edges. You know, as you can imagine, these are like super crisp hard edges. So you'd be cutting your hands all over that in real life. No edges are machined like that. So what we do is we move into this phase here. So this is what we call the, the baking, the normal map phase, where we'll go in and we'll generate a load of extra detail that isn't there in the geometry. I mean, if I select the geometry there, you can see what is there, but when I unselect it, it looks like this has got a very soft bevel on the edges and stuff like that. And these are all very important. The way the, the gun behaves under light is the thing that's very specific. It tells the story of the weapon. You know, As you know yourself, the 416 has got some very subtle things that are specifically to that from a form factor you know like this little kind of beveled area here and or stuff the mag like well it's more flatter yeah more fluted and whatnot and you know they're very specific and we need to make sure that they're reading as you'd expect them to be now when you get them into the game and you know the perspective on the camera gets hold of it sometimes things get a little bit foreshortened so we'll adjust the field of view so that the gun looks how you'd expect it to look. look. But we won't go playing around with the massing of everything because obviously we've got universal attachments much like you would have in real life and we need to make sure they're all able to fit onto the weapon as well. Like my, my main goal is that I want people to be able to see like the detail and almost like I could reach in there and grab it, you know, and that's the key thing. It's like, and also, you know, you can imagine when you're, you're holding the weapon in the game, you've got the rear sight, you've got, you know, the, the back of the upper receiver. Those areas are critical for us. You know, if we've got very little detail in there, it'll show up when we go into, you know, iron sight or ADS. So we try and add more detail in those areas just so that, you know, everything maintains and holds together. So I'll show you once we mix all those parts together um, and then we go into uh, Frostbite, which is our uh, proprietary engine here. Um, and we add all the layers together. Obviously, I've put some bowflage on the weapon here as well. Um, but this is the kind of thing that we'll end up doing. So obviously, this is just the 416. You know, we've got the LaRue OBRs, we've got the Daniel Defense um, M4, we've got the Mark 18 coming through as well. Like everything is gonna go through this amount of care and attention because, you know, the one thing we're really, really big on is just authenticity. You know, we're, we're trying to catch everything which is you know, part of the pleasure of having you here. You've already schooled me on a few things here this morning, you know? That's pretty much it. I mean, you know, overall, you know, as I said, we're just obsessed with authenticity and detail and we're trying to, you know, just get every, every little thing right, which keeps me awake at night. Good deal. Well, thanks for having us here, man. Absolute we're pleasure. Enjoying the visit, yeah. Thank you very much.
Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.